now have back-to-back -back sweeps with uh, Alabama State Tuesday and now today with the Citadel. Uh, how has the preparation for the team uh, led to y'all getting the back-to-back? -back? Yeah, I think that we came off um, the Auburn Cal Poly week pretty hungry. You know, we knew had, we had some things we needed to get better at. And it, it was difficult because we had a, a day of prep, then we play, day of prep, then we play, day of prep tomorrow, then we play again. And so we've talked all week that each day we need to get a little bit better and prepare. And I think that they've been really focused in practice. Um, and well, I think one of the big things coming out of last week was that we needed to uh, get better with our service pressure um, and our defensive execution and intensity. And I think that in both matches this week so far, right, they've really taken to that. Um, and we were very efficient offensively the last two nights as well. So, you know, when, when those, when all those things are kind of clicking together, um, you know, it makes for some fun volleyball. And so, <laughs> yeah, but you know, tomorrow's a, a new day, you know, we'll, we'll enjoy this tonight. And, uh, but tomorrow's a new day. And we, we gotta do the same thing we just talked about in the locker room, right? We gotta, we gotta get a little bit better to, tomorrow. We gotta prepare. Um, but I, they've been really locked in this week. And so it's been really, really fun. Uh, and then we also talked a little bit about making sure that our preparation and our competitiveness, you know, isn't sucking the life out of us, right? Like this is a game that we all love to play. We love to be together, right? And so like finding that really healthy balance is important for a good team, right? To enjoy being with each other and enjoy the competitive space. Win or lose, right? We can go out there and play hard and have fun and leave it all on the line. You know, as long as we're walking off the court knowing that we gave our best effort and everybody was great teammates, then good things are gonna happen for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I and mean, as far as just like, what's the adjustments that the team's made to hit so much more efficiently in those last couple matches? Well, I think that we're being a lot more consistent with our, well, you know, we talk about having good habits, mm -hmm. right? So we talk about like, hey, let's go be aggressive and be on our good offensive habits, you know? Um, and when we do that, then, um, then the results will take care of itself, right? And so uh, I, I think that Tori and Amaya modeled that really well the last two matches. And then it's, um, you know, that kind of sets the tone for everybody. And I think that Kalina Cavillo has done a really nice job, right? A little better each night. Um, she came out like a house on fire tonight. And so that was really fun. And our, our setters have been working really hard since last week, okay? Like they've been uh, doing a really good job. You know, Jordan and Janelle and, and Addie, you know, in practice, you know, there's behind the scenes people in practice every day that are helping us get better. You know, like we have Sarah Bates in the libero jersey right now because her serving is so dynamite. We're trying to figure out how to use her more, you know, with, with what we're doing lineup wise. And, and so there's people like her that are making really big sacrifices for the team to play the role that's needed for us to be competitive and win, right? And like, that's what good teams do. That's what great teammates do. Um, and that effort every day, you know, behind the scenes in practice has been very, very influential to us, like performing well, you know, when it's game night, so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, one more question. About the middle hitter position, I saw that you had Austin and Worthington out there tonight. They looked great, really efficient. Mm -hmm. um, is there any changes there that you're thinking about making or is it just what felt right tonight? Yeah, I mean, tonight it was, um, you know, we went with the same lineup tonight that we played at Alabama State, mm -hmm. you know, and our middle position group is working really, really hard, um, you know, and we're trying to, you know, figure out what the right combination is on any given night, right? Like, what's the right adjustment for our team between Audrey and Sid and Ella? What's the right balance for our team, given our opponent what we need to do? And so, um, you know, make no mistake about it, that group, like, um, is each other's biggest fans and whoever's going out there is working hard to do their best for the team. And so, um, you know, that group has worked really, really hard this week to be more effective, you know, offensively and blocking wise. Um, you know, not just the two out there, you know, but Ash and Axel and Ella Broadhead behind the scenes have been a big part of that in our preparation this week. Coach, you kind of already alluded to it a little bit, but you took a bit, it took advantage of the two Lubera role that's now in place. What did you see from JC and from Sarah tonight that, that worked or some, what it could look like moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I think that what we saw was that Sarah was point scoring better than anybody else on the team, and we kept running out of subs and couldn't use her. And so, you know, it, it was just something that, um, you know, we had been talking about as a staff and, you know, um, Coach Brian was just like, hey, this is a good week for us to try this. Um, we've been talking about it for a little while and so um, 
You know, and look, it's a really difficult role for both Sarah and JC, right? Like, JC's not serving right now, and so she's making that sacrifice for the team, you know? Like, when Sarah's there, she's not really getting to play a whole lot in the back row, but, you know, she's making that sacrifice for the team, and those things don't go unnoticed, you know, as a staff and as their teammates and stuff like that. Like, you know, they're doing what needs to be done, and so um, we're just trying to maximize our strengths. Right? So when we can use the rules to our advantage to maximize our strengths, then you know, that's, that's what we need to do. And um, I'm just so thankful that our team like, buys into that you know? um, from a team first standpoint. Right? Like, it just makes everybody's you know, experience a lot, a lot better right? and we can be successful. Right? Um, so, yeah, so we'll continue to make the necessary adjustments that we need and, you know, looking forward to a tough match on Saturday against a good Kennesaw team and, you know, hope everybody can uh, get their football fill and come on out to the arena, you know, for a little uh, afternoon cup of volleyball tea, if you will, you know, <laughs> we'll be here at two o'clock on Saturday.